Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Bangumi wa tagengo hosou desu. Hosou yotei wa suprememastertv.com slash schedule. Whenever you have a craving for a sweet treat, try this recipe. It is wonderfully versatile as you can use any seasonal fruits as a filling. Ukrainian Uranian dumplings, sweet vegan blueberry vareniki with homemade vegan yogurt, part one of two. Continue watching, more is on the way. This change makes me stronger. And because of becoming vegan, I have noticed the merits and goodness of animals, which are a lot. The Reverend Father, Anthony Chang Sang Loi, vegan. Gracious viewers, when you are in Ukraine, you reign. And the locals say thank you, which means thank you in Ukrainian Uranian. You can politely respond by saying putlaska, meaning you are welcome. I am Oriana. It is heartwarming to see the selfless efforts and sacrifices you make in helping the Ukrainian Uranian refugees and homeless animal people who are in desperate need of food shelter and medical care. Your noble endeavors are an example for all to follow. May the light of heavens forever shine upon you. Welcome to our show, Ukrainian Uranian Dumplings, sweet vegan blueberry vereniki with homemade vegan yogurt. Ukrainian Uranian cuisine, descending from ancient peasants, is predominantly based on its agricultural produce, consisting mainly of grains such as wheat and rye, as well as staple vegetables including potatoes, cabbages, mushrooms and beetroots. The cooking method incorporates both traditional Slavic techniques as well as other European styles. A distinctive feature of Ukrainian Uranian cooking is that most food is first fried or boiled and then stewed or baked. This cooking style helps to preserve the aroma of the dishes while adding juiciness to the cooked food. Today we are delighted to share with you a sweet vegan Vereniki recipe filled with fresh blueberries accompanied by vegan yogurt. It is one of the national favorites enjoyed by a majority of Ukrainians, Uranians population and commonly available in traditional Ukrainian Uranian restaurants. Let's start by preparing some homemade vegan yogurt. If you like, you can use the final product of this recipe as a vegan yogurt starter. To prevent contamination when making vegan yogurt, all utensils should be sterilized by washing them in hot soapy water, rinsing thoroughly, immersing them in water in a big pot and bringing them to a boil for about 20 minutes, then taking them out to dry. Pour 1 litre of sugar-free soy milk into a pan and heat it to 40 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do not heat the soy milk first, it will take longer to ferment in the electric yogurt maker. Once the soy milk reaches the desired temperature, turn off the heat. Then pour the warm soy milk into a measuring jug, making it easier to transfer into the fermenting jar. First, pour some of the warm soy milk, 
into a fermenting jar. Add the right amount of vegan soy yogurt starter according to the instructions on the package. It will take a longer time to ferment if you use less. You can buy vegan yogurt starters from your local supermarkets, health food stores, or online. Vegan yogurt starter contains dairy-free probiotic bacteria that are beneficial for the body's digestive system. Now mix thoroughly. Pour in the rest of the warm soy milk. Keep stirring until the vegan yogurt starter completely dissolves. Next, we will use an electric yogurt maker for the fermentation process. Use the machine according to the instructions given. The one we use here needs some filtered water. Place the soy milk that contains the vegan yogurt starter into the machine. Put the lid on. This lid is not airtight because some air needs to be released during the fermentation process. Press the start button to get the fermentation process going. We will leave the yogurt maker on for the next 8 hours. Generally, for vegan yogurt to thicken and set properly, it needs to have a steady temperature of around 43 degrees Celsius 110 Fahrenheit for about 8 hours. It will take a longer time if the temperature is lower. Alternatively, you can ferment the yogurt culture mixture in a thermos or any other insulated receptacle that can retain heat for a long period. Now, after 8 hours, our vegan yogurt is ready. Now, change the lid of the jar to an airtight one. Store the vegan yogurt in the refrigerator and it will last for up to 2 weeks. Next, we will prepare a vegan liquid egg mixture to add to the dough for our dumpling wrappers. In the bowl, combine 50 grams of vegan whipped cream, 50 grams of soy milk, 15 grams of nutritional yeast, and 3.6 grams of black salt, also known as Kalanamak. Mix thoroughly together till well incorporated. Our vegan liquid egg is now done. Our next step is to prepare the dough for our dumpling wrappers. For this, we will mix all the wet ingredients in a bowl. Now add 200 grams of the vegan yogurt we just made, 2 teaspoons of salt, 40 grams of vegetable oil, 60 grams of vegan liquid egg, and 88 grams of water. Whisk until well combined. In the large mixing bowl containing 600 grams of flour, push the flour aside to form a well in the center. Then pour in the wet ingredient mixture. Mix well. Then knead the dough mixture until there is no dry flour left. Transfer the dough mixture onto the kneading board. Continue kneading until a dough is formed. Place the dough onto a large bowl. Cover the bowl with a damp cloth and leave it to rest. After 30 minutes to an hour, remove the resting dough from the bowl. Knead the dough for the second time. Less effort is required this time around. When the surface of the dough is shiny and smooth, place it back in the bowl. Cover the bowl with a damp cloth and let the dough rest again for one hour. Vegan! Because if we want to save the planet, we must be! Enlightened viewers, 
we will take a moment to thank plant-based farmers and food producers who provide us with a wide range of vegan food products to enjoy. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Welcome back to our show, Ukrainian Uranian Dumplings. Sweet vegan blueberry vereniki with homemade vegan yogurt, part one of two. We will continue to prepare our blueberry dumplings. Now, let's start preparing the blueberry filling for our dumplings. We have 300 grams of washed fresh blueberries in a bowl, then add 80 grams of powdered sugar and 20 grams of flour. Gently mix and coat the blueberries with the sugar and flour. We will wrap them in the dough later. Place the dough we made earlier on a cutting board and proceed with making dumplings wrappers. Cut the dough into four equal portions. Roll these portions into balls and cover three of them with a damp cloth to prevent them from drying out. We will use one portion first. Dust some flour on the kneading board. Flatten the dough ball. Use a rolling pin to roll out the dough to a thickness of 2 mm. Cut them with an 8 cm diameter round cookie cutter. You can keep the freshly cut round door wrappers on a tray dusted with flour. To fill a wrapper, hold it in one hand and place a teaspoon of the coated blueberries on it. Then bring the edges together to form a semicircle and pinch the edges firmly. Then crimp the flattened edges by folding and overlapping them to form a twisted pattern. Remember not to overfill them as the filling expands during cooking and may cause the skin to burst open. Place the wrapped dumplings on a surface dusted with flour. Repeat the process for the second one. Fill the wrappers with the blueberry filling, bring the edges together and crimp the flattened edges. Keep the dumplings apart so they do not stick together. Bring a pot of water to boiling point. Then gently drop the blueberry dumplings in it. Using a slotted ladle, stir the dumplings to prevent them from sticking together or getting stuck at the bottom of the pot. We have added a dollop of vegan butter to the boiling water to prevent the dumplings from sticking together. It also gives the blueberry dumplings a shiny skin and a slightly creamy texture when eaten. After all the dumplings flow to the surface, continue boiling for about 3 or 4 minutes, depending on the thickness of the wrappers. Scoop them from the boiling water and drain well before placing them on a serving dish.
The blueberry dumplings are done. You may enjoy them plain or with vegan yogurt. Ingredients For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the homemade vegan yogurt, the ingredients are 1000 ml of sugar-free soy milk, vegan yogurt starter. For the vegan liquid egg, the ingredients are 50 grams of vegan whipped cream, 50 grams of soy milk, 15 grams of nutritional yeast, 3.6 grams of black salt or kalanamak. For the dumpling dough, the ingredients are 600 grams of flour, 200 grams of homemade vegan yogurt, 2 teaspoons of salt, 40 grams of oil, 60 grams of vegan liquid egg, 88 grams of water. For the blueberry filling, the ingredients are 300 grams of fresh blueberries, 80 grams of powdered sugar, 20 grams of flour. Vegan, love blooms under each of your footsteps. Gracious viewers, we sure have enjoyed having your company on our show today. We look forward to you joining us next Sunday for part two of our show. We'll be making savory, mouth-watering Ukrainian or Uranian vegan Vereniki potato dumplings. May the people of Ukraine or Ukraine know the love and support of the world and our prayers for lasting peace. Up next is countries with most karma. Humans must pray for forgiveness, part 3 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, right of the noteworthy news. May you enjoy the blessings God bestows upon you. Have a great day. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule.